an interesting find, a book of personality profiles for each day of the year. What lies inside this book is a guide to personality based on psychology, history, numerology, tarot, and astrology. This book takes sun sign astrology one step further. Sun sign astrologers have for the most part commented on human personality by applying certain generalizations about the signs themselves to people. For example, some signs are associated with the element fire, which donates an intuitive individual with a great deal of energy, but also a quick temper. Signs are also classified by qualities, aka modes of operation, such as the fixed quality, which indicates a stubborn disposition, persistence, and the ability to see things through. Astrologers associate each sign with a planet and ascribe the sign with the characteristics of that planet. There is a traditional symbolism attached to the signs as originally derived from the configuration of heavenly constellations that bear their names. From these assumptions, a kind of personality emerged for each of the 12 signs and then naturally for those born under each sign. Personology is earth-orientated. The basic structure upon which personology is built is that of the year as it is lived. For personology, the four most important points of the year are the spring and fall equinoxes and the summer and the winter solstices. These points form a cross around which the wheel of the year revolves. Astrologically, these points do not fall in any of the 12 astrological signs, but rather between the pairs of them. The spring equinox falls between the signs Pisces and Aries, the summer solstice between the signs Gemini and Cancer, the fall equinox between the signs Virgo and Libra, and the winter solstice between the signs Sagittarius and Capricorn. Each of these four areas corresponds to an astrological cusp. Astrology tends to emphasize the signs Personology tends to depend more on the cusp. Personology holds that not only are certain types of people born at various times of the year, but even specifically on certain days. Each of us in the human family, regardless of where we were born or how we live, carries with us a huge repository of symbols and a kind of collective or archetypal unconscious. By looking at the characteristics of many people born on a given day, and correlating what we know about them with basic principles of psychology and astrology, personology seeks to explore certain reoccurring ideas, actions, concepts, and themes which those born on this day, now, in the historical past, and in the future, are seemingly fated to encounter. At the heart of personology theory is an underlying cyclical orientation. The Great Wheel of the Zodiac itself, which is based on the spatial metaphor of the 360 degrees of the revolving heavens above us. The Great Wheel of the Ages, crawling backwards around the Zodiac with the precision of the equinoxes until we reach the beginning once more. The cyclical revolutions of the electron around the atom relate to the revolutions of the planets around the sun. A complete cycle of the Zodiac is taken to represent an 84-year human life, and so a life can be divided into 12 equals 7 year segments. We're looking at a partial explanation for why similar personalities are born in different time periods under the same sign, cusp, or in the same day. A certain personality type arising at a higher or lower level of the spiral, but always in the same location in any given year. Abraham Maslow believed that every human being must continuously evolve throughout life to ever higher stages and that getting stuck, refusing, or being unable to progress further is a true living death. Every human being must strive to be the very best person he or she is capable of being. Bringing astrology, history, and psychology together in concentric cycles or spirals is at the heart of personology.